Persuasion, persuading. I really don't know what this is. I know it's Jane Austen. Has anyone here read a Jane Austen book ever in their lives? Dude, you asking me if I read a Jane Austen book? (laughs) I've Uh, never read Jane Austen, but I've read Jane Austen adjacent, like Emily Bronte, Charlotte Bronte. She wrote Pride and the Prejudice, right? The dude's head is massive. The dude's head is huge. Oh, yeah, he has a big head. He does have a large head. What I know from the clips I've seen of anything that's based on Jane Austen, there's a lot of people walking in fields towards each other. There's a lot of like... uh, you must be wedded or else you will be broken, Paul, and no one will respect you in these streets. You cannot be caught lacking thine. I am 27 but, uh, years old. I have no money, no prospects. I feel like I would enjoy reading it more than I would enjoy watching it because it's just yeah. so boring. That would be an interesting, like, uh, like a Shakespearean podcast. We would for have a to man master. of only 33 years, you possess a happy talent for composition, a remarkable felicity of expression. You write ty- 10 times better than anyone else in Congress, John. We went to an underfunded school. So that's one of the biggest things. They did not stress this type of stuff. Like, like read these like, things. Like, you could get by without doing this. Like, you got your history book there. That might be your last history book that you're getting. And it's oh, like yes. Your, your uh, first year. <laughs> Dude, remember oh when God. they didn't even have books for us? Like, we had to share a book. It'd be like five people at the table around mm-hmm. one book. Remember like, when? Remember when they said oh, we're just going to cut history? Forget it. Oh, <laughs> we're not yes. even going to do it. A, dude, we're yeah, we're not even going to try it. To, uh, even <laughs> do it. Uh, so this was not in our radar, man. I was listening to Gucci Mane mixtapes and heavy metal music at the same time in this was. era. I was heavy into like Metallica, Persuasion, Ooh. a lot of coaxing. Is there lots of yearning, a rain, kiss scene, maybe some horses? Open frilly brow- blouses. Did I wear this for the- And like I've the main quite- character has like 10 sisters. <laughs> this yeah. has the girl from uh from Fifty Shades. We saw all the Fifty Shades movies in theaters, me and New. We were there. Oh, here we go with the Brazilian. I got my Brazilian subtitles. Oh, this, she's already in a field, dude. She's, She's already, already in a field. Ripping that grass. Is, wait, is there a blouse? She's wearing boots. I see boots. She has a horse. Oh! <laughs> this is everything we expected. Oh my God, the sideburns. These are the least passionate kisses I've ever seen. K-drama kisses. She was a lot more passionate in Fifty Shades with that ice cream. On March 1st, 1760, man of consequence known for his exquisite jawline. I hate this already. Both seem unlikely in the immediate future. Now, July 15th. She's like Ferris Bueller, like just I know. explaining stuff. <laughs> and she's saying in the most boring way. In- and me, middle child, the crack in his looking glass. Her accent went away. Did you hear her accent disappear for that line? My father loves more than himself is spending money. Oh, he's in debt? You go take you go take the cookies, even the cookies, man. How in debt do you have to be that someone takes a plate of cookies out of your hand? This outfit is fire, though. On herself to give me advice on every topic, as she felt my mother would have. She's so deadpan. And helpful. She did this in a day. This the woman in the yellow dress. She's like giving her all with these facial expressions, and then everyone else oh, yeah. is just like. Dude, this movie is so boring, and it's only like a few a few minutes in. Sweetheart. Seven years. Eight. You can possibly still feel. I do. Frederick Wentworth was the only person, save you and my mother. She's still hanging around with this guy seven years she after. She is a sip. She doesn't even look sad. She's just lying on her bed. She's Every time I see her, I just think of now. that ice cream scene in Fifty Shades. I'm like, why would you ever involve ice cream? And it was the Ben and Jerry's too. Was she getting kicked in the stomach while pregnant? That was the one movie, All right? Was just yeah. <laughs> She, just, she was pregnant and then she was kidnapped and they were like, yeah, you're pregnant and started kicking her in the stomach. Yeah. In Fifty yeah. Shades? Yeah, yes. A- Dude, her dress is so fire. Isn't this dress amazing? Look at her hat. She is put together, dude. He could never value a love that wasn't offered freely. Shouldn't she have Dude, every line you read in this, just imagine that like okay. they're abridging like a paragraph that Jane Austen wrote. This is just like not great 
acting. It's been I, seven I, years, and she's collected all these things from that one guy. Suitcase, you sip. That's creepy. Simping is deadly, man. You you like simping lose years of your life for simping, bro. I'm gonna have to read Persuasion right after this. I think if if she weren't such a boring lead, this could be a better movie. You? Look at this man's line. The sad face. There's a sad face. Is this comedic gold? I can't tell yet. I haven't decided. The floor looks like pie. Oh my god, that is a hat. I have a little orphan boy in my hat. What he is, is all this repo. stuff they're moving? Because he's broke and they're taking everything. Right, right, they're Remember? repossessing everything. <laughs> this is an experience everyone in the hood goes through. Remember when the repo man would come and like you pretend you're not home? Oh turn off all the lights? Yeah. These pants are high, high, high. Oh, yes, this is the era of all wasted times. pants being above the... The waste. Movie's so boring. It's making me cry. You'll see. When you're in love. <laughs> you know, Anne, Mrs. Cross' baby brother is a bachelor. Quite this movie successful. has not passed the Bechdel test yet. If I hadn't I, seen a girl in seven years, and then I see like she has a suitcase with all this memorabilia of me, I would be very disturbed. Crazy ex-girlfriend. <laughs> she is imagining that this guy was thinking of. A her for seven years. For seven years? I've not thought about anything Ooh. for seven years. Ooh. He could be like completely moved on. If it's been seven years, that line is back. I'm so close to death, I can feel my organs decomposing. But <laughs> he remains as fresh as ever. <laughs> what kind of joke is this? Girl, is it true he's devastatingly handsome? He has a kind face, yes. And is it true that he actually listens when women speak? He listens. Still hasn't passed the Bechdel test. Just when he starts to seem interested, don't respond to a single thing he says, as though you're a ghost. Just say boo. This is a lot of scheming, man. Just be yourself. Just be like you thick. Please understand, the thing about me is, I am an empath. Shut <laughs> the fuck up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Is this the Twitter written movie? Twitter, bro? What? Mary, would you like me to stay alone while you go to- Who wrote this, man? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if it's camp or not. I can't decide. It's too boring to be camp. I know. <laughs> I can't believe that. Intelligent, rich. Oh, is that yeah. the heartthrob? Did you see his metro station face? Oh, Kelsey. You know that I'm sex, you always... We've, We've met. met. Huh. Long ago, before I was rich. What an introduction. We met before I was rich. I'm an empath. I'm such an empath right now. People like um, period pieces. We need to make a period piece in a, in a time period where that black people could live. You mean no, the 90s? Not. That's my rule. I'm like, if it looks like black people would get shunned away, I'm not watching this movie. Like, my weirdo. question is when the Mesopotamian period piece comes out. Although I've had my fill of excitement. I long for absolute boredom to lull me back to myself. And by that you mean a wife? Oh, is she going to be a piano master? Sing us a song, you're the piano man. That song always confused me because what was that one guy who, what is a real estate novelist? Every time I listen to that song, <laughs> what is a real estate novelist? Paul is a real estate novelist. I'd prefer open hostility. His cold, polite- That is true. I hate, I hate it, dude, when people are like, just passively, like, like, you know, yeah. giving the cold shoulder. I'm like, just either hate me all the way or like be not like I hate it, man. I just feel like it's cowardly. Be aggressive or don't. Like coward, man. She just carries this bunny everywhere. Now we're strangers. Worse than strangers. We're exes. We're exes. From certain angles, it just looks like something that you would buy at Kohl's. Sonoma. These dresses have never been ironed ever. Oh, so she wants him. Oh, it's gonna be a little love affair. Love affair. I'm dealing with this love affair. Look at him macking on a different girl right in front of him. This is anime. Whatever your mind is, stop using words imaginatively this instant. I can't bear it. Dude, she really hates poetry. And she's an empath. She is an empath. I hate this guy's hairstyle. Oh, Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey. When he first showed up, he did like a smug look that just made me chuckle. 
I'll swim Ooh. the ocean for you. Now she got a stick. I need a period piece where they're just like evil ducks. I'm so bored. This is what it was like watching Pride in the Fridges. Like oh, she twisted her ankle. This is where the geese would attack. But they wait for you to twist your ankle and pounce? <laughs> That's what happened to me. The if rooster she... knew I was wearing shorts that day, so he would like try to cut my ankles. Oh, this guy is so British. He looks like he talks like that. Does and does a lot of arm motions and stuff. Why, certainly, I sure know what you're talking about, innit? Maybe doing some bribery or something. You Imagine going back in time and just showing them like hyper pop music. You two could His Bill face. and Ted. Noob and Awesome's Ted and, uh, Adventure. This guy is in every British movie we've ever seen when they need an Asian person. Oh, is he gonna be mad? How are you gonna be mad that he's talking to your girl when you're already talking to another girl? Look at him in his all black. Dude, he's a villain. Is this what they did in this era? They just stood seaside or in fields? Like that's all they do. No apology necessary. It was clearly well intended. It's hilarious hearing her accent fall the way all the time. I... I would like to be friends. This is a formal friend zoning. I, w I was thinking. The same. This is a boring scene. Neither of these people are giving a good delivery. Why does every girl in a period piece stand by the ocean with her hair like this and she's just going? <laughs> That's what like they do. I would ask myself, what would Anne do here? That's how I know. This scene would be a good scene if the acting was better, but she is like giving nothing. He just said, I want to be friends. And now he's complimenting, saying for years, anytime I come across struggle, I would think, what would you do? And it would help yeah. me. She's just it's looking. Not acting. I'm sorry, Dakota Johnson. I, I don't like your acting. I'm sorry. You're pretty, but I don't like your acting. Now we're worse than exes. We're friends. When did the word the exes become network. like a thing that people say? So either catch me or don't. Oh, she oh, would shit. not catch her. She died. <laughs> what? What? How? A simple joke. If this is her death, this is hilarious. That girl is dead. I'm not leaving. Hair's got like, 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 he's got this kind of thing going on. Hey, girl. What's up? <laughs> they gotta hey, have the hair. Oh. Off to the side, like yeah, like that. <laughs> if I was in a period piece, I would have to comb my hair. I'd have to be in some ridiculous style where I'm doing this, man. I'd always like, have to wear a top hat. Oh, I would have to have a wig. Oh yes, because he's a ten. Shh. I never trust a ten. What? Shut <laughs> up. Is this Shut how they talk? Up. Is this how they talk? Who wrote this? I this is hate this. She looked like a Shrek human. I'm sorry, I'm starving. I'm gonna take my laptop and I'm gonna make something to eat. You think we need to have like a 18th century tea time? Yes. You know I you know I don't like tea. You see me trying to drink the tea. You gotta make an oolong tea while you drink it. Oolong tea. Okay. I'll 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 this is it. Tongue ting. Should oolong. we tap it? Oh, uh, very gently because this is ceramic. <laughs> nah, bro. Just keep drinking it. I'll try. You know, it's just Hennessy or something. We Hennessy drink. time? <laughs> Hennessy time. Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy and crumpets? Sometimes I have this dream that a giant octopus is... Type of dreams you be having. And as I struggle to get free, I realize that my... Oh, this is anime. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 18th century <laughs> All they did in this era, we never, I've never seen a period piece where people have jobs, where people are trying to do something. It's we're just, always watching uh, sitting around. period pieces. It's because we're watching period pieces about like the upper class. Oh shit, my computer is going to die. Like it's going to die like now. Oh man. Parkour, parkour to the plug. Statues would be erected in my name. In memory of Anne Elliot, who suffered cosmic loss. Yeah. You'll come then. Excellent. We'll be a foursome. You, she, the Belcanto, and me. The, the hats in this movie. The hat. What do you think the hat budget was quite original. in this movie? Dude, right now Anne just looks like Brendan Yuri. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of? A swimming layers. 
My swimming pantaloons. My oh swimming my. top hat. I really need to learn how to do opera singing. That's just the thing you want to start doing right now? Midlife crisis right now. I got to pursue a career. Dude, you are 26 years old. Midlife <laughs> crisis? I looked the part. And you and Elizabeth are up here gallivanting with Mr. Elliot and our noble cousins, and I haven't even been introduced to them yet. This is such a boring movie, but it's not as boring as uh, Pride and the Prejudice was way more boring to me. There's no the, it's just Pride and Prejudice. I don't know, it, it's uh, white, Fair white enough. literature. Pride and the Prejudice sounds like um, a band. Like, uh, give it up for Romeo and the Juliet. Pride and the Prejudice, a band with a gay guy and a racist guy. This man has no neck. Woman, that his love has an earlier death. I am half agony, half hope. I just mailed back a letter, read at 11.42 p.m. Well, what is going on here? What the freak is the kissing about? Uh, this is not fancy. Oh, well, that got resolved quickly. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna go in war and get pneumonia and die. What? Whoa, whoa. So what, is, what was this movie about? Fancy. I don't even no know. <laughs> what was this even about? All I know is love is in the air tonight. All I know is it wasn't about her and I wish it was. I want to see her travel the world. They never travel the world in these period pieces. They just stay in one place. Yes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She's trying to favor Bueller, but she don't got the swag. No, again? This was a boring movie. I'm cutting this off. You know what's a good period piece? So is a period piece just anything that's not said in today? So literally yes. anything? So, so yeah. if I make a movie set in 2006 about Mike Jones, that's a period piece about- I don't know if 2006 counts. <laughs> how about Mike Jones, man? It's called Still Tipping on Foes. Tipping on Foes. Thank you, Danny B, for watching this. The queen, <laughs> the youngest of Switzels, OG. We in here? Yes, this movie was horrible. 70s, Danny B's a miracle. I know I'm still supposed to you. I know I'm still supposed to you. Tonight is tense and we go. Miss you, the phone calls at 3 a.m. The ones I knew.